Any female born after 1993 can't cook. All they know is McDonald's, charge their phone, twerk, be bisexual, eat hot chip, and lie. If you're online, you've probably heard this infamous quote for the Gen Z generation, and unfortunately, it's true. Oh no! But I, me, Deja Lene, I'm here to single-handedly beat these allegations as a 20-year-old who loves hot chip. I can't lie, I love hot chip. I'm gonna do this by learning a new hobby every week, every day, every once in a while, I don't know. But I'm beating these allegations. The first hobby we have is the art of crocheting. I'm in Hobby Lobby right now and we need to look for the crochet stuff. I used to have a whole bunch, but I don't know what happened. Put it in the garage and I was gone. So we have to rebuy. I did try this hobby once, but I did it for like a day. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to crochet, so I'm probably just gonna pick out my favorite colors because I literally don't know. I kind of wanted to do a scarf, but I wanted to do a hat. I need to do something easy. This is the beginning. I don't know. Did I get these small ones, probably? I don't know if that's enough yarn. I probably should have did more research. We just kind of winging it, guys. Hmm, if I do a scarf, if I do a scarf, this red is pretty. Like for the fall time. I think, yeah, we're gonna do fall colors. Since fall is coming up, we're gonna do red. So oh, she picked these ugly colors. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like this is pretty right here. This is cute. I hate these colors. That's pastel. Yeah. Well, them that looks. This good. is not that. fall. No. Is fall. But we don't have fall, and I'm confused. We live in Florida. And we don't have fall, and you're not gonna be wearing a scarf much. Oh, so I'm so confused. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> don't worry about me and my neck. I think I'm gonna get this one. I'm not. My neck gonna be nice and cool. <laughs> Ooh, this works out well then. I think I'm gonna get this one. I like this one. Do I need maybe two? So I think I'm gonna do this color because this is the best one out of all of them. And then now we need the crocheting tools. Okay, so we need a five millimeter knitting needle. Wait, no, not knitting. We're doing crochet, so 5.5 millimeter crochet hooks. Okay, where the heck are the hooks? There's more yarn over here, maybe we'll find something different. This is nice for a scarf, right? Cause yeah, I think they use this for scarves, Deja. No, like these. Yes, they do. <laughs> they don't be using that because it's yes, nice and because it's going around your neck. So this is nice and soft. That's all scratchy. You're gonna be all itchy and scratchy. I ain't yeah, never seen nobody use this junk for no scarf. Okay, wait, here are the hooks. Okay, so they have a multiple packs. I'll probably get this since I have sizes. 10 bucks. This is pretty. Okay, we'll probably get this one. What's the highest it goes? 6.5? Like, what needle do you need for this? Hello? Why ain't it telling me now? It's a different brand, so they didn't put it on their packaging. They suck. <laughs> no, wait, to I you guess guys. They just, they just supposed to, I mean, what you the? guess a, you just. What? <laughs> like this color. Why you got that color? Like a clown or something. It yeah, looks like a clown. Clowns. I love clowns. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Are you okay? I don't like what I like. I don't want that boring gray and white. That looks stupid. And it matches with everything. Like this what goes you... with everything too. <laughs> if you're going to the circus. <laughs> I just don't know what's like, hello? Which tool do I use for this? Go ask that lady that was over there. <laughs> She, <laughs> she probably know down to a T. I'm not telling you what hook though. That's what stomp me off. This ain't no tools needed. No tools needed. This ain't yeah. really. <laughs> what? This ain't off the oh, hook. That's why no it's tools. All weird. You yeah. Just do it with your fingers. No, that's not gonna work. I'm trying to hook. So this is knitting. I want to learn how to knit too. Oh, what's the difference? I'm I'm like Shade. ignorant to this because I don't know. Well, I'm learning. Hey. I'm learning too, so that's the whole point. No, I'm saying, what's the difference between knitting and crochet? I, I thought know, that was the same thing. It's just like needles, like this, like you're going in and out. I don't know, crochet is like a hook, and you hooking. So they both old lady vibes, though, right? Yes. Well, yes. Like, what? <laughs> what you gonna be doing in the retirement home? Sitting here on your iPhone? You gotta learn how to do some of this stuff. <laughs> you gonna put me in a retirement home, Deja? <laughs> Deja not gonna put me in a retirement home. She gonna take care of me. I don't think she would. Are you? I don't know what's that. 
I can't see the future. I had asked Yana this like a couple months back when she, she was said? over. She was like, she was just playing. She said, yeah, because she was like, I can't imagine changing that ass diaper. Like, <laughs> Ooh, he too big. You know, I can't with them legs. Like, what? What do I even do? He's huge. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Wait, that was what? too funny. It's just pretty though, because then it'll be a bunch of different colors in the scarf. Yeah, that is. Oh, Ooh, it's getting hotter by the minute. Gotta figure something out. Oh, I'm look! Four. For the sock monkey. Mm -hmm. You're so cute. Well, I guess I'll do this color. Hello? I mean, <laughs> you like it, I love it. <laughs> Ooh, that was absolutely terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I love it. Seriously. Let me see. Do I tell you and how you many you would need? Ways. No, they suck. It's like people keep. Well, at least I tell you the new, the neat. What? <laughs> <laughs> the hook. Lisa tell you the needle. The you need. Knitting needles. Knitting. Oh wait, crochet hook. Six point five. Oh, so you can use either. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. This is for universal. Remember this was going in our head at one point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do y'all remember that? <laughs> Back in the day, friends. yes. And we it did, ate every time. Mm -hmm, we did. <laughs> I like this one. Are you, are you wearing this scarf? Oh no. I'm starting to get confused who I'm making this for. We all like none of so these lost. colors. The blue. Like, I like the orange. That's better than that one. I think. We gotta do this for a scarf. How much is this? Funny. Cause somebody asked her where she wearing a scarf to. <laughs> can, we just, can we just get that? That's the real question. Oh, Next. This is so pretty. <laughs> I'm so confused. See, like this is a pretty color. Hello. We got all of the crap that we need. I have the needles. Goes up to seven. Millimeter. Oh, well, the hooks, crochet. Bro. The crochet hooks, seven millimeter, but they want me to use nine millimeter for the yarn, for this yarn specifically. So I'm gonna have to buy a nine millimeter hook separately so I can still have all these. This is the color I decided to go with though. It's low key ugly. Like, I don't know. It's not doing it for me. It's got orange. You like orange? I know, but like, ugh, it's not doing it. Like, it's not, it's really not doing it. I don't know. It's a lot of colors though. So. Ooh, Deja, go back over there and get what you want. I do want this. This is amazing. We're home and I have everything and the mission starts now, actually. Yeah, let me just really show you the color. Maybe you can see it that well in store. So this is the color I got. I don't know, it has a lot of oranges, pink, blue, green, white. Honestly, I'm not that sure how I feel about it, but this is what we got. This is what we got. So we're gonna have to make do. We got two of those, cause I'm just assuming it's gonna take two to make a scarf. Got those bad boys. Then I got all of the hooks from two millimeter all the way to seven. And they have half sizes. But for this project, we're gonna need a nine millimeter crochet hook. And you're wondering, how am I gonna do this? You've never crocheted in your life. YouTube. That's, that's, that's the only way I fear. We're gonna have to watch this YouTube video. And honestly, I am scared because I'm hungry right now. Yo, I'm on the brink of passing out. Like I haven't eaten. I don't know why I do things when I haven't eaten. How to crochet a scarf for beginners. Okay, like back in 2020, I did try to learn how to crochet and I watched her video and she was really helpful. So we're gonna do her again. Wait, what? Why do I need scissors, a sewing needle, and a ruler? Wait, hold up. I thought we just needed two things. What's going on? Hold up. Why do I need all, why do I need scissors? Why do I, why do I, okay, I have scissors, but like, a needle? What? Yeah, I cut those two fingers through the hole. Okay. Grab the tail. I'm already stressed. And make sure to hold. Is this scarf too big of a project? Why do I need a ruler? So I know it's gonna be 40. Oh my gosh. Measurements. Measurements are coming out. Wait, hold up. She's losing me. Oh, I really wanna do this. Let me lock in. Let me lock in. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Let me not give up already. Okay, let's open the yarn. We need to make a slip not whatever that is where is the beginning this is actually really pretty hello 
How do I know what's happening? I don't know what's going on. Oh, wait, I need to cut it, I think. Oh, okay. Right? Don't I need to like, make an incision? Right? Did she cut it? Confused. So to start, let's make our slip knot. She didn't even say if she cut it or not. Did I cut it? <sighs> I'm literally about to break this off with my teeth because I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know where the scissors. Scissors. I feel like Nico cut avocado. Literally, I'm going crazy. Where is everything at? Okay, I assume you have to cut it, right? Because how else? It's all just continuous. We're just going to cut it right here. Quick little incision. There we go. I hope I didn't just F something up, but honestly, I don't know. Okay, let's wrap a little bit of this up. And we're gonna make our slip knot. Okay, here we go. Ugh, ugh, I'm stressed. Where's my, okay. Okay, her fingers are like shooting a gun. Mm, okay, got it, check. Okay, three fingers. Grab the middle. Hey, what girl? So wait, wait, she lost me. And we're gonna grab the tail. Wait, oh, she's losing me. And then just pull through. What? And the result should be a loop. Then you can put your crochet hook in. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I did it. I'm pretty sure. Now let's put that fat crochet hook through. I think that's right. Shoot, it's gonna have to be right at this point. Let's also talk about how to hold our crochet hook. Point with my pointer finger. Wrap the working yarn around my pointer finger. Okay. Instead of my right. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Wait, she lost me. Wait, something's not right. My okay, I just lost my slip knot. <sighs> okay, I'm a. I'll be back. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta lock in. I think I'm doing it right. We have to put it to the back, yarn over, and loop through. And rinse and repeat. I feel like I'm doing this wrong though, like. Okay, wait, no, I'm doing it right. You see that? I'm pretty sure I'm doing that right, right? So continue chaining until you have the width of your scarf and make sure it's even. An even number of chains. I don't know how many chains I did. Uh-oh, we're in big trouble. I think I did like three or four. I think I did like four. Okay, I did like four. We're gonna go up to like 10, I don't know. Let's just keep going. This is hard. <laughs> what the heck? I feel like it just like started messing up and I don't know why. I just wanna say I made a lot of progress. I don't know how long it's been, honestly. I'm trying to show y'all this without like dropping the whole yarn ball. But like, why is this like like fun? Hello? This is how much I have done so far. She said she made it 11. Why can I not speak? I sound like Simish. See, she said she made at 11 inches. Honestly, I don't, I can't even estimate 11 inches. I'm not good with any of that. What so freaking ever. Measuring, like you lost me. I don't, I don't know. So this is how much I have so far. I haven't been counting how many chains I've done. So I don't know if I'm at an even number. I don't know if it's odd. We're high key just winging it. But I am going super slow because like, I feel like the type of yarn I bought is even harder cause it's all fuzzy and the lines get blurred like, I don't know, it can get confusing. And for some reason, like, I don't know, like it just won't stay tight. Like, I know you can tighten it like with this finger or whatever, but I don't know. Like that, wait, what's happening? Why am I like flopping now as soon as the cameras turn on? Anyways, I'm gonna continue to do this. I've been doing this and listening to Mitski. I love Mitski so freaking much. Okay, here we go. Let's try to get one on camera because I don't know what's going on. See, that was a little, little not so good, but we did it. But yeah, no, this yarn is, first of all, it's super fat. So I feel like that's making it harder for me anyways. 
And it's also just like, it's too fuzzy. Like, I'm getting the lines blurred. You see, I'm getting the hang of it. See, and then I flop once I congratulate myself. Like, what is that? I feel like this hook is also harder. It's so fat. Her hook is so small, which I feel like Loki might be easier and more precise. Like, this hook is fat. Like, it's huge. Okay. I think we're actually, no, I need to do one more. I can't be satisfied. I need to do one more. I need to lock this in to be sure I know how to do this. Okay, let's wrap around, grab this. Like, I need to be satisfied with myself. Loop this around. No, Deja. Like, what are you doing? Okay, there, we did one. I didn't even get it on camera. Let's do another one. Okay, this is actually a lot. Look at this, it's so cute. It's like such a long braid. Like, hello. Honestly, I don't know if this looks good or not, but to me, it's looking it's looking great. Anyways, this is what we have so far. I'm gonna leave this piece alone and come back to this project tomorrow. Yeah, I think I did good on the first day. We got the little slip knot and we actually started crocheting the V. It's so cute, it's so pretty. Okay, I'll see y'all tomorrow. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of new equipment. I ended up going back to Hobby Lobby and I got this finger counter that pretty much counts your chains. Like you put in how many chains you put because I kept forgetting how many chains I was making. So I ended up getting that. I got this other ball of yarn because it seemed easier. The other one was like way too fluffy and it was just not, not manageable for me as a beginner. So I switched to this one and this one was, I don't know if it was acrylic. I forgot, I don't know. But it was better than the other one, pretty much. Right here, I'm just making like the 40 loop, whatever, I forget what they're called, chains or something. I'm making like the 40 chains. And I was still struggling at this time. I kept rewinding the video, but I was starting to do better. This was definitely a lot easier. Before I went to this colorful yarn though, I did practice on this yellow yarn, which that is what actually helped me a lot. This yellow yarn was very like concentrated, like no furriness, no fluffiness, like it's almost like rope. And this made it easier for me to see my chains, I feel like, like it wasn't so blurred as it was with like the fuzzier yarns. I don't know. This is what really kick-started everything. I practiced on the yellow yarn first and then I went to the colorful yarn which is what you're seeing right now i would suggest that if you're beginning to crochet and you notice that the lines are like too blurry for you because of all the fluffiness from like you touching the yarn i say buy a more concentrated one and practice on that first and then dive into the fluffier yarn which is what i did and poop glasses yeah i even started wearing these magnifying glasses <laughs> that i got from hobby lobby you pretty much attach the magnifying glass onto your glasses and it like magnifies everything so you can see what you're crocheting better and it does help it does work i was genuinely wearing them anyways i just had to add that in because I, I just got a bunch of supplies <laughs> unnecessary low-key but like useful in a way Right here, I had about two big loops made. I don't know what they're called. And I started to get confused, as you can tell. I don't know, like, I felt like the tool was too big to fit into the chains. 
So literally throughout this whole process, I kept changing up the millimeter of the crochet hook because they tell you like what crochet hook to use with the yarn. But sometimes that junk is just not like viable. I don't know, at least for me. Cause I ended up switching to like a way smaller crochet hook. I'm pretty sure that's a nine millimeter I'm using right now or something like that. And I ended up going to a three millimeter and that worked for me. I don't know, you'll see, you'll see me start switching things up. Right now, the struggle is real though. This is when I decided to make the big change with the crochet hook and I'm pretty sure this is a two millimeter and it was just, it was better, but it was way too small. Like this was even still uncomfortable. I had to play around with the whole crochet hook thing to figure out which one was easier personally for me to use. I don't know why they, I mean, I understand why they recommend a certain hook like on the back, but like, I don't know. Next day I was on the grind. I was literally crocheting in my car this is what i ended off with last night not that much like i said i was struggling i think right here yeah right here i'm using the three millimeter hook and this is what i continue to use throughout the rest of this crocheting piece three millimeter just worked for me i was literally sitting in this line for like an hour and 30 waiting to pick up my sister from school i got there mad early because if you don't the line wraps around and then you have to wait anyway so i just i just like to get there dumb early but yeah i was doing better here i definitely was still messing up but like i was getting the hang of it you know i was crocheting in the car getting the thing done the grind must go on This is what I had next day or the night. I don't know if this was the same day, night of, I don't really know. But I had all my equipment on. As you can see, I have my magnifying goggles on. I didn't have them on currently because I was listening and kind of watching emergency intercom. We love Drew and Inya. I was continuing to crochet here. We made some progress. We made some more progress. I was still struggling a little bit, but I was definitely better at holding the crochet tool, I will say. I was more comfortable with actually crocheting. You know, I'm editing and look how heavy I am breathing. What's happening? <laughs> I'm scared. Shades down, locked in. Do you see how far I've gotten? Hello, are you looking? Literally the day before this, from 12 p.m. all the way to like 3 a.m. or something, I don't know, it was some crazy time. I was watching Breaking Bad, I had started Breaking Bad, and literally was just crocheting, like wow. First of all, Breaking Bad is so good. Hello, we all know that, but like, this is my first time watching it, and I freaking love it so far. Please, no spoilers if you've seen it all. But yeah, literally, I locked in on Breaking Bad and I locked in on the crocheting the day before this. And look how far we are. I've made it through the pink, the purple, and I'm on the lighter purple. We were getting places. Now I'm continuing the lighter purple because I really, really wanted to make it to the blue like so badly. I made some more progress and I'm almost on the blue, but I literally pulled out so much yarn. Don't do that. That whole thing got tangled up and I literally had to like cut it off and then 
attach the next color blue so i wasted some of the purple yarn because it literally got all tangled and i was sitting there forever trying to untangle it i literally i don't know why i pulled out so much actually i do know why i pulled out so much because i wanted to have like a an estimated of how much i want to crochet like okay i'm gonna get this much yarn done without stopping like you have to because you pulled it all out but that just backfired and i had to cut it all off anyway to continue i'm starting on the blue that i had to attach randomly I didn't get that far with the blue because at this point it's like three almost four in the morning i'm pretty sure it was late and i was watching breaking bad i very much was but yeah we had a little bit of progress on the blue but not much so it has actually been like 10 years later surprise hello this is a little bit embarrassing <laughs> This is how far, y'all, I wait, there's so much to explain. I forgot, this chunk is jacked. I don't know what happened, where I went wrong exactly. Does this look like it'll be a scarf? Like the shape, I don't know. I guess I messed up on one of the chains because it started to just like pull in and become very like shrunken. Like it's like wider at the bottom then it started to become like smaller. I don't know what I did wrong, but this is how far we got i haven't crocheted in like i'm not kidding 10 years so there's that um yeah i think we got pretty far though we still have the blue orange yellow and then like the other blue but i think we got far did we not i say i passed this one i think i beat the allegations with this one y'all agree like hello I think I did good. We got a good amount done. I'm pretty sure I could still crochet if I tried right now. It's not that crazy. Well, at least trying to do a scarf, it's not that crazy. <sighs> yeah, I'll finish this someday, but I don't think this would have turned into a scarf. Like, it just looks so short and stubby. I don't know how it would have gotten so long. Like, and it's very wide. Maybe it was gonna be like a super wide scarf. I don't know, I'm confused. But yeah, like right here is when I like messed up. You see, it's like, first it was wider then it started to get like really tiny i will continue this series so let me know what else you want me to do in order to beat these allegations of twerking eating hot chip be bisexual and lie let me know in the comments i already have another one coming up she thought she was in control how wrong she was